Hi everybody, it's Crystal. So today I'm going to show you how to crochet the puffed Catherine wheel stitch. I love the Catherine wheel. Um, it's one of my favorite stitches and this is the puffed version. It's actually extremely beautiful as well. You can do it in as many colors as you'd like. It's actually the possibilities are endless. Now, um, it is very, it is very easy. It's a, it's a four row repeat. I know it looks very intimidating, but it's not. Um, but the four rows, they're, it's actually two of them are like extremely similar. They're the same. They're just kind of, you know, catty corner from each other. So, um, you can end it with a straight edge at the top. I do tell you how to do that at the end, but this is kind of what it looks like. Beautiful. I love the Catherine well and the puff stitch is Catherine well is no, no exception. It's a beautiful, beautiful stitch. You can, like I said, many colors as you'd like. It's going to be a bit of a yarn eater, but it's one of those stitches that are worth it, if you ask me. <laughs> so, remember, this is just a stitch uh, demonstration to teach you how to do this. You can use, uh, I'll show you the yarn that I use, but you can use any yarn that you choose, depending on whatever you're making. Um, I used... Um, Hershner's Worsted Bohemian Romance, which is a medium weight number four acrylic. I use the colors Miss Flower, Marsala, and then I used Ecru was the white. And for tutorial purposes for that four weight yarn, I did use a size J, which is a six millimeter crochet hook. Now remember you use, depending on whatever you're making, you can make a blanket with this, pillow covers with this, top with this. How squishy of a baby blanket would that make? Oh my gosh, that would be so nice and beautiful. And remember, you can make it in any colors that you like. And I do tell you at the end how to square off that top and go around the sides with a nice, you could do a nice single crochet border, clean up those edges. Do you guys want to do it? All right, let's do it. Okay, so <clears throat> the stitch is done in a multiple of 10 plus seven. It's worked on a foundation row of single crochet. So what you want to do is you want to chain in multiples of 10, so 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, till you get to your desired length, depending on what you're making. And then you will add seven more stitches to your base chain. So what I have here is uh, 47 stitches. 40 is my multiple of 10, and then I added seven more. So this first row here, we're just going to count as our foundation row, all right? We're not going to count it as row one. It's just going to be our foundation row, and it's going to be a row of single crochet. So we are going to do a single crochet in the second chain from our hook. We don't count the one that's on our hook. So here's one, and here's two. And then that second stitch, we're going to single crochet, and then we're going to work one single crochet in every single stitch for the length of our chain. Remember, this is our foundation row, so it does not count as row one. This is just uh, setting us up so we can begin to work our, uh, our stitch. So one single crochet in every stitch until we get to the end of the row. All right, so I've made it to the end of the foundation row, and you should have one less stitch than what your beginning chain count was now. So I remember I said I started with a chain of 47 for this sample swatch, and now I have a total of 46 stitches. So whatever your chain count was, depending on what you're making, you will have one less stitch. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and begin um, row one of our stitch. So we're going to chain one and turn our work. That chain one does not count as a stitch. And we are going to single crochet into the very first stitch. So this very first one right here. And then we're gonna single crochet into the next stitch. Just like that. Now we are going to start the repeat of row one. So we're going to skip three stitches. Skip, skip, skip. And in the next one, we're going to be working the uh, puffed uh, part of the uh, uh, Catherine wheel. So what we're going to do, skip your three, skip, skip, skip. We're going to yarn over and then go into the next stitch. 
we're going to draw up a loop a little bit taller than normal like that then we're going to yarn over again and go into the same spot and draw up a loop again in the same height you'll have five loops on your hook yarn over and go through the first four like that two loops will remain yarn over and go through the remaining two that's it we need to do that seven times total into that stitch so that was number one let's do it again we're going to yarn over go into that same stitch draw up a loop to the height of of the last one yarn over and go into the same stitch draw up a loop and you will have a five loops on your hook yarn over and go through the first four and that'll leave you with two loops yarn over and go through the remaining two so that's two times let's do it again yarn over go into that same stitch draw up a loop again yarn over into the same stitch draw up a loop five loops on your hook yarn over and go through four and then yarn over and go through the remaining two so that's three times we've done that let's go again yarn over and go into the same stitch draw up a loop again yarn over same stitch draw up a loop and we got five loops yarn over and go through the first four and yarn over and go through the remaining two so you can see we got one two three four done we need a total of seven all right yarn over go into the same stitch draw up a loop again yarn over same stitch draw up a loop five loops one two three four five yarn over and go through four that will leave you two yarn over and go through the remaining two so now i have one two three four five so go ahead and do two more until you have a total of seven of these puffs and i'll meet back up with you all right so you can see that i have a total of seven puffs one two three four five six seven all right now we are going to skip three stitches again one two three and then we're going to put one single crochet in each of the next three one two three all right so skip your three sometimes the one next right next to the puff gets a little tight so make sure you don't skip it or miss it one two three that i skipped and the next one i'm going to put a single crochet and then i'm going to single crochet into the next and then single crochet one more time into the next so as you can see that was three single crochets in a row and now what we're going to do is repeat this pattern all right let's do it again so we're going to skip three stitches skip 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 and the next one we're going to make this big old puff again so we're going to yarn over skip 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 one two three the next one we yarned over go into the stitch draw up a loop a little bit tall like that yarn over again go into the same spot draw up a loop five loops yarn over and go through four that'll leap two and yarn over and go through the remaining two so that's one puff remember we need a total of seven all into the same stitch yarn over draw up a loop yarn over same stitch again draw up a loop five loops on my hook yarn over and go through all four and then yarn, yarn over and go through the first four, I'm sorry. And then yarn over and go through the remaining two. Just like we did before. There's two loops. Let's do it again. Yarn over and go through the same stitch. Draw up a loop. Yarn over and go through the same stitch again. Draw up a loop. You will have five loops that remain. Yarn over and go through the first four. And yarn over and go through the remaining two. So that is three puffs I've done. So I'm going to go ahead and finish out my seven puffs into the same stitch and I'll meet back up with you. I'm also going to figure out why my camera keeps going blurry. Sorry about that. So go ahead and finish your 
we're on number three. Go ahead and finish your seven puffs into this one stitch and I'll meet back up with you. All right, so I got my seven puffs there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I'm going to skip three again. Skip, skip, skip. And then I'm going to put one single crochet in each of the next three. So I skip my three and there's one single crochet into the next. One single crochet into the next. And one more time, one single crochet into the next. And that makes three. So this is the pattern that we're going to keep repeating um, until we get to the last four stitches of our row. So again, we would skip three, skip, skip, skip. And then we would do our uh, seven puffs all into that same stitch. And then we would skip three, skip, 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 and put one single crochet in each of the next three and repeat. And I'll see you when we have four stitches that remain. All right, that's where I'll meet back up with you. All right, so I've made it to my last four stitches. One, two, three, and four. So I'm going to skip three stitches and I'm going to do these puffs, but I'm only gonna do like a half. So we're gonna do four into the last stitch instead of seven, all right? So we skip our three. One, two, three. We're gonna yarn over and we're gonna do those four puffs into the last stitch. So we yarn over, draw up a loop, kind of tall, go into the same last stitch, draw up a loop, four loops, yarn over and go, or yeah, five loops on your hook, yarn over and go through four, and then the remaining two. So we, it's the same, we're just going to do it four times instead of seven. That is two. Three, one more time. And this will be four. I'm gonna change colors here, all right? But as you can see, I, I had five loops and I pulled through four and I have two that remain. And normally I would pull through those remaining two. I'm going to switch colors here. So what I'm going to do is put my new color on my hook and I'm going to pull it through those remaining two loops and I'm going to take my work and I'm going to take the tail here I'm going to clip this other yarn off actually the first yarn that I was working with I'm going to clip it and I'm going to take these two tails and I'm going to tie them in a little knot the tail too so they don't slip away and later we can sew them in or get rid of them somehow. There we go. So that ends row one. And uh, that's kind of what it looks like. All right, so now we're gonna start row two. So row two starts the repeat rows. It's rows two, three, four, and five. It is a four row repeat. So let's begin row two. We are going to chain one and turn our work. Now we're going to single crochet into that very first puff. That. And then we're going to single crochet into the next puff. Like that. Now we're gonna work a chain of three. One, two, three and we are going to come over here and we're going to work those seven puffs again but we're going to work them all together into one stitch <laughs> does, that, does that make sense well we'll see what we can do how about it so we're going to be working over this puff here this puff here that's two these three single crochets, so that'd be three, four, five, 
and then the two puffs six seven of this puff right here all right let's do it so we start right here we're going to yarn over go in and drop a loop yarn over go in drop a loop now we have five loops on our hook but you're gonna, we're going to yarn over and go through four like that leave those two loops on your hook okay because we're going to do all these puffs together and make it into one. So we have to leave those two on our hook. So we're going to yarn over and go into the next stitch, which is a puff. Drop a loop. Yarn over and go into that same stitch. Drop a loop. You got one, two, three, four, five, six loops on our hook this time. Again, we're going to yarn over and we're going to go through the first four. And leave the remaining loops on our hook. There'll be three there now. I'm gonna move along and we gotta work over these three single crochets, doing the same thing in each of those. Yarn over, go in, drop a loop. One more time, go into the same stitch, and drop a loop. Each time that we do a puff, we will get more loops on our hook, but we're only gonna yarn over and go through the first four. And then we'll gain an extra loop back here. All right. Okay, we're going to go to the next single crochet down here. Yarn over, drop a loop. Again, same stitch. Yarn over, drop a loop. And we're going to yarn over and just go through the first four. All right, again, this next single crochet, we're going to yarn over and drop a loop. Again, same space, yarn over, draw up a loop. Lots of loops now, but we need to sneak yarn over and go through the first four. All right, so that's five times we've done that, correct? Yep. So we gotta go into these the first two puffs of this next um, section here, doing the same thing. So we're gonna yarn over. What works for me is I try to keep these loops pushed up as far as possible and then the ones in the front as back as possible, if that makes sense. Kind of kind of keep them together. Okay, we're going to yarn over again, do another puff, drop a loop, and into the same stitch, drop a loop. And remember we need to just go yarn over and go through the first four and leave the rest of the loops on our hook. And then one more time into the next puff. We yarn over and draw up a loop. Again, into the same spot, yarn over and draw up a loop. And we will yarn over and go through the first four loops, like that. Now we have done that seven times, and we should have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight loops on our hook. Now we need to yarn over and go through all eight of those loops. Pull it tight, give it a little snug like that, a little, little tug, and then we are going to chain three. One, two, and three. There, we did it. Hey, that looks pretty dang good if you ask me. So now we are going to put a single crochet into the next three puffs here. One, two, three. So single crochet into the next. Single crochet into the next. And a single crochet into the next. And now we were going to start the repeat of row two, which starts off here with this chain three. So we're going to chain three. One, two, three. And we got to do our seven puffs, but we got to do them all together just like we did before. So one in this puff here, one in this puff, one in each of these three, three singles, and then one in these first two puffs of this uh, section right here. Let's do it. Yarn over and go through that first one, drop a loop, 
yarn over and go through it again drop a loop remember we only yarn over and go through the first four and we leave any remaining loops on our hook yarn over and go to the next one drop a loop yarn over again same spot drop a loop yarn over and go through the first four leaving any remaining loops on our hook and we're going to do this all the way across until we've done seven First four. Four. And then I got these two more to go and that will be a total of seven. four and then one more first four and you should have eight loops um one two three four five six seven eight and you want to yarn over and go through all eight of those loops give it a little tug and then we chain three one two three and one single crochet in each of the next three puffs so there's one two and three and then we repeat 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 again so we just chain three one two three and then we do our uh, seven puffs together over the last two here these three, three single crochets and these two so it's the seven puffs together and, um, and then we chain three and then we work one single crochet into the next three up here and start again with our seven puffs together and we are going to repeat this to the last four stitches of our row all right so i've made it to my last four stitches as you can see so i'm going to chain three one two three and what i'm going to do is do um the puff stitches over the remaining four so these two and then these two and they're all going to be connected together so we're going to yarn over and go in to that first one and we make our puff go through the first four and then the next one do the first four and the next one through the first four and then that last stitch here through the first four and you'll have five loops there on your hook yarn over and go through all five and that will end row two all right so i'm going to keep the same collar on my hook now and i am going to chain one and turn my work like that and what i'm going to do is i'm going to do the uh, cluster again um into the very first stitch but we're going to do it like we did down here so they're going to be separated all right so we're going to be working it kind of um why don't we work it yeah kind of if we can right here into this chain one space all right so let's yarn over and go into that space 
and draw up a loop and again yarn over go into the same space draw up a loop and we're going to yarn over and go through the first four loops on our hook and then yarn over and go through the remaining two like that so we're going to do that four times so that was one again let's go on that same space draw up a loop yarn over and go into the same space again draw up a loop you'll have five loops there yarn over and go through the first four you'll have two that remain yarn over and go through the remaining two so that's two puffs we made let's do it again yarn over go into that same spot drop a loop and yarn over again go into that same spot drop a loop five loops yarn over go to the first four two loops that remain yarn over and go to the remaining two so that's th three times let's do it once more into the same spot yarn over and go through the first four and the remaining two all right so that is the uh starting of row three now we're going to start the repeat so we're going to skip this chain space right here and we're going to put a single crochet into each of these next single crochets from the previous row so don't make any chains after this just, just skip this one and go directly into these single crochets and put one single crochet into each of them there's one and then one in the next and then one in the next now we're going to skip this and in the middle here the eye of this cluster we're going to do this seven puff cluster right into this space right here all right so don't do any chains or anything after this so we're going to yarn over go into that little eye of the cluster don't worry it might be a little tight at first but it'll, it'll loosen up draw up a loop again same spot draw up a loop five loops yarn over and go through the first four and then the remaining two and we need to do that seven times just like we did down here five loops yarn over and go through four two loops remain yarn over and go through the remaining two so that's two times we've done it let's do it again five loops yarn over and go through the remaining or the first four and then yarn over and go through the remaining two so that's three puffs let's continue until we get seven And there's four all right i'm gonna go ahead and keep going until i get seven and i'll be back up with you all right i'm coming to the end of a row three and i've made it where i have this chain space and two stitches left <clears throat> excuse me i'm going to single crochet in the last two stitches one in each of them but i'm going to change colors on my last one so i'm going to single crochet into the next one and then the very last one i'm going to go into it and draw up a loop and I'm going to bring in whatever color I'm going to switch to here and pull it through and I'm going to flip my work over and I am going to cut my main yarn from the previous row and I'm going to tie the tail of my new color in the color from the previous row together and then we can start row four. Now, rows four and five are pretty similar to the rows that we've already done, except we're kind of doing them in the opposite. So like the circles will be here now in between, but pretty, pretty much being the same. They might, they might start and, and finish um, a little differently, but they are basically, you know, the gist of what we just did.
All right, so we'll go ahead and start row four. And. All right, I've got my seven and that ends the repeat for row three. So again, we will skip this chain space and we'll go put one single crochet in each of these single crochets here. Don't chain after your seventh puff. So there's one single, two single, and three single. It becomes very easy. And again, we're just going to do our seven puffs again into the eye of this one right here. So we don't do any chains, we just skip this chain and start with our seven puffs. There's one. There's two. There's three. There's four. six. Do one more for my total of seven. Just like that. There it is. And we just skip this chain here and one single crochet in each of the next single crochets. And we're just going to keep repeating this. until we get to the last two stitches of our row. Um, and then I am going to switch colors. Yep, all right. So I'll meet up with you. I'm gonna keep repeating this um, until we get right down here to these last two stitches and we'll do a collar switch and we'll go ahead and start row four. We are going to chain one, which doesn't count as a stitch, and turn our work. All right, so now we're doing our uh, clusters that we have to do them all together. All right, so it's separate. So we're gonna do four together here. One in this first single crochet, next single crochet, and then the first two of this big cluster here. So let's begin. We're gonna yarn over. Go into that first stitch, drop a loop. Yarn over, go into the same stitch, drop a loop. And remember, we only go through four stitches. Yarn over and go through the four. We leave these on our hook. And we yarn over and go into the next stitch. Drop a loop. Yarn over and go into the next one. Drop a loop. And we only yarn over and go through the first four. And we leave the remaining ones on our hook. Yarn over and go into the next one, drop a loop, and the same one, drop a loop. Yarn over and go through the first four, leave the remaining ones on our hook. And one more time, yarn over and go into the next stitch, drop a loop. And this yarn over and go through the same stitch, drop a loop. We yarn over and go through the first four, and you should have five loops that remain here on the end. Yarn over and go through all five. Give it a little tug, like so. And then we are going to chain three. One, two, three. So that is our corner cluster. Now we're gonna do a single crochet in each of, one in each of the next three stitches. This starts our repeat. So there's one, two, three. 
And now we're going to do our uh, seven cluster together, just like we did down here on row two. So it's worked over this puff here, and then the last puff, and then these three single crochets, and then the first puff here, and then the next puff here. Like I said, just like we did down here on row two, we're just doing it again, but we do have two chain three. One, two, three. And let's do our seven puffs together. And remember, we always just yarn over and go through the first four when we're doing them together and we leave the rest on our hook. And we go to the next one. Yarn over and go through the first four. Leave those on our hook. And then the next one. Yarn over and go through four. The next one. One more. Go through the first four. Should have eight loops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yarn over and go through all eight. Give it a nice tug. And then we're going to chain three. One, two, three. And repeat. One single crochet into the next three. One, two, three. Chain three. One, two, three. And then we do our seven together puff clusters over this puff here, this puff here, these three single crochets. And then the first puff of this and the second puff of this big puff here. We're going to keep repeating this until we get all the way down here um, to the last two puffs. All right. We should have completed a complete puff here. And then you'll have two puffs that remain. And that's where I'll be back up with you. All right. So remember, we're just kind of repeating row two, what we did down here for row four, but it's just they're, they're opposite of each other. All right, see you in a second. All right, I'm coming to the end of row four, and I just did my seven puffs there together. I chained three, and I have two puffs left. I'm going to put one single crochet in each of those remaining puffs. There's one there, and then hit that one up on the end. And there we go, that'll end row four. I'm gonna keep the same color on my hook for round five, which is the, the uh, row five, which is the last repeat row, which is very similar to row three. Except, well, like I said, we're doing it in the opposite direction. So, let's begin with a chain one and we turn our work. And we're gonna put a single crochet into these first two stitches. There's one, and there's two, and now we're going to start the repeat of row five. So we're going to go into the eye right here of these seven together, and we're going to work seven puffs um, into that stitch, or into that eye. So we don't do any chains after that. So we just go in, drop a loop. Go into the same spot, draw up a loop. You'll have five loops. Yarn over and go through four, and then yarn over and go through the remaining two. So that is one. We need to do that seven times. Yarn over, go into the same spot, draw up a loop. Yarn over, go into the same spot again, draw up a loop. You'll have five loops. 
yarn over and go through four you'll have two that remain and yarn over and go through remaining two so that's two puffs we've done again into the same spot we do it again and we need to do it till we have a total of seven that's three There's four. Five. At six and one more. is our seven so like I said very similar to one two yeah row three so we're not going to chain one We're just going to jump over here to these three single crochets. We're going to skip this chain and we're going to put one single crochet in those three single crochets like that. And then we're just going to repeat it again. So we don't chain. We go into the eye of this, this big puff here and we do our seven puffs into that same spot. And there's one. that's three keep going until you get seven okay I got my seven and again we're just going to repeat make sure you don't we don't chain up afterwards but you do skip this chain and you put one single crochet in each of the next three single crochets so there's one two and three so I'm going to keep repeating this pattern for row five until we make it all the way down here um to this last puff here on the end and that's where i'll meet back up with you all right all right i'm coming to the end here of row five and we're going to end we're going to skip this chain right here and in the eye of this puff here we're going to do four puffs here at the end so there's one two sorry about that there's one There's two. There's three. And this will be four. And I'm going to change colors right here and start again. So before I pull through my final two, I'm going to clip this collar off and I will bring in like whatever you switch colors however many colors you want to use, but I'm going to go ahead and pull in my new color. I'm going to flip my work over to the back and I'm going to tie the tail of my last color in my new color and I'm going to start again with row six. So now what I'm going to be doing is just repeating rows two, three, four, and five until I get to my desired size whatever you're making um you just keep repeating it until you get to your desired size so it's just repeats of rows remember two three four and five and two three and four and five are pretty similar um you know they just work just catty cornered from each other pretty much but yeah repeat that um however often you'd like 
Um, if you do want to get the complete circle after that first row there, you'd want to change colors every two rows to get that complete circle. All right, so after you've repeated rows two through five for as long as you want it to be, you want to end on a row four repeat. I actually ended on a row five, but the row four will be the half a shell. And that'll give you a straight edge at the top, so you could just go across the top uh, with single crochet, and then you could clean up the sides with single crochet all the way down, and you can make whatever you'd want with it. So I hope that you enjoyed my tutorial. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you have not yet, and check out my other tutorials. I have hundreds of them, anything you could ever want to make, and multiples of them. So I'll see you guys on my next video. All right, bye guys.